on the day Hamas militants invaded Israel, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan called on everyone to act with restraint and refrain from impulsive steps. However, after a while, the rhetoric changed. Ankara accuses Tel Aviv of war crimes and calls the terrorist group Hamas a liberation movement. We have a responsibility to ensure that our Palestinian brothers are safe from Israeli brutality and that the carnage taking place in the Gaza Strip as the world watches is stopped. Due to a change in Turkish rhetoric towards Israel, the state recalled its diplomats from Turkey. Soon Ankara also recalled its ambassador from Israel, citing the humanitarian tragedy in Gaza and Israel's refusal to stop active actions. The Israeli foreign ministry commented on the incident. The decision of the government of Turkey to recall its ambassador for consultations while the state of Israel is in a war of self-defense is another step by the Turkish president to side with the Hamas terrorist organization. From the publication of the Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs on the website of the Israeli Foreign Ministry. And today we see that Erdogan is returning to his classic rhetoric. He sees himself as the leader of the Muslim world. His statements are not conductive to the relationship. Previously this was explained by internal elections. Then they said that Erdogan, it seemed, was trying to reconcile with Europe, wanted to join the European Union, but he talked to Israel so wrongly. The head of the Turkish National Intelligence Agency was in contact with both the terrorist group and Israel after the start of the Hamas aggression. But now, according to Erdogan, I quote, the Prime Minister of Israel is no longer a person with whom Turkey could have a conversation. <laughs> Indeed, this picture has such a radical sharpening at first glance, although I don't think it can go that deep. Turkey is still quite pragmatic, including Turkish President Erdogan himself. Amid these diplomatic statements, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Turkey on an official visit. He met with Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan. Their conversation took place behind closed doors. Following the meeting, Blinken said Washington was working decisively to expand humanitarian aid supplies to civilians in the Gaza Strip. We're working on every single day. Uh, we've uh, engaged the Israelis on steps that they can take to minimize civilian casualties. We're working, as I said, very aggressively on getting more humanitarian assistance into Gaza. And we have very concrete ways of doing that. And I think you'll see in the days ahead uh, that that assistance can expand in, in, in significant ways. Relations between Israel and Turkey have been difficult before. However, experts know that only after the end of the Hamas war against Israel will it be possible to see at what level relations between the two countries will be consolidated. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Mikita Skoblikov, UATV News.